Hello, welcome to another version of The Word in a Flash. I'm Dr. Freddie B. Wilson. Today's subject is Jesus Changes Everything. Let's face it, living in today's world, even as a Christian, gives us challenges we have to face. Sometimes we just don't know what to do. Most of the time, the, the best solution is just to call on the name of Jesus. When that spouse you've been with for many years decide they want to divorce you, just say, but Jesus. When the people on your jobs are telling lies on you just to make you look bad and totally untrue the things they say about you, just say, but Jesus. In daily conversations or when you're talking to someone who's giving you a speech or anything like that, they tell you things, but there's somewhere along the way they say that but. And you know what but means. Typically, anything that was said before but seems okay, but as soon as you hear the word but, it changes everything. That's what we need to do when we're having problems and we just don't know what to do. Change everything by saying, but Jesus. When your children have worked your last nerve, don't curse them out. Just say, but Jesus. When a person cuts you off in traffic, don't curse them out. Just say, but Jesus. When that family member or someone you're very close with says you never be do anything with your life, you're not going to be successful. Don't listen to that word. Just say, but Jesus. When your circumstances lead you to believe that you're going to be broke, busted, and disgusted for the rest of your life, don't believe that. Just say, but Jesus. When all else fails and the things you try to do just don't seem to work, don't give up. Just say, but Jesus. I attended a very good Christian concert tonight. And I was very inspired and it was very fulfilling. I would introduce to the scriptures James 4, 7 through 8. James 4, 7 through 8 re reads, Be subject therefore unto God, but resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Resist the idea of thinking that everything comes to mind, you got to do it or say something about it. Sometimes some very rude and mean things will come to your mind for you to say to someone, but this is not of Christ. Don't say it. Try to operate with a clear mind and a pure heart. Everything that comes to mind just don't need to be acted upon or said, as I said earlier. But the problem is we, a human being, are going to think bad things sometimes. You don't have to act on everything you think. So just ask God to show you the right way. Ask him to clean your heart that you may um, not do everything that comes to mind because the devil will trick you. And not realize that when you say certain things to certain people, it, it's hard to bring that back. It's hard to pull back on something that you said to someone else that's hurtful. I recently heard a story about someone who was really bending on getting revenge. And when they got their revenge, they thought they were going to feel better. But as studies show, eventually getting that revenge is going to come back to haunt you. You're really going to still start feeling bad about what you did to that person. So resist the need or the urge to get revenge on someone because they hurt you. Resist any kind of harmful act or thought that you have towards another person. I find the best thing that we can ever do is call on the name of Jesus. Our answers don't always come right away, but Jesus always steps in right on time. So that's what I encourage each of you to do. Call on the name of Jesus. Like I said before, when things look one way, Say, but Jesus. I recently talked to a friend that told me a lot of things that was hurtful in the past that was called by her own parents. I've heard other things that from another friend that was called by the church they attended to as a child. Those things have long-lasting tendencies to, to affect us when we are adults. And again, I say, but Jesus. First start by forgiving yourself for staying in the situations that you had to endure. Then you can forgive others who've done things for you. Because if you don't forgive yourself, you're going to go right back to doing the same thing you were doing, but maybe with a different person. So when I encourage you to say, but Jesus, this is not a play on word or some kind of um, miracle, um, uh, mysterical things that I'm trying to say to make you feel better. But I do find 
that saying but Jesus and believing and that it's an affirmation that God will come to your aid. Jesus changes everything.